The DBDC will be held in Boston from July the 28th to July the 31st, 2022. Welcome back to Approach the Bar. I am here again with the lovely Isabella Yunju, and we are going to continue discussing the pro smooth that happened at the recent Manhattan Dance Championships. Our runners up tonight are the current world and current USDC champions from 2019, as the events didn't happen in 2020. Uh, they have been involved over the last few Cubs in a great battle with another couple that we will find out about later. And in all of those events, uh, up until Millennium, Nick and Victoria had stayed, stayed on top, winning a majority of dances. Tonight, they actually finished second in each dance, and obviously, lost the competition uh, as somebody is, who has sort of been in that position before hi like just tell us how it feels and what you what you thought about today well first of all my heart goes out to them because it is never easy to lose after you have been on top um, it's one thing to have a let's say a run in which case you're placing up and down and up and down we're talking about a, a four-time u.s champions or current champions uh, being you know awarded the highest award that there is for a dancer uh losing first dances at certain competitions now losing the entire competition is definitely a big deal and so i do feel for them i do know what it feels like um and i do hope that they can stay mentally strong because at this point it is nothing else but a mental game um the party is not over yet the usdc hasn't happened yet so in the grand scheme of things this could mean nothing uh if they really come back at the next event and the next event whatever they're planning to do before usdc especially usdc and they put in a really strong performance they are beautiful dancers quality is amazing they're very fluid they flow beautifully from one move to the other um you can watch them almost gliding across the floor i always have that feeling when i watch and with her choice of these very flowy dresses that really adds that lightness to their movement um what's happening right now in my humble opinion between them and the couple that's been taking some dances from them and winning the comp in this case uh is yet again they, they, they felt a little subdued their energies were a little muted um especially after uh, from my knowledge at the competition week before where they already lost dances i would expect them to come back really strong and show oh uh -uh, we're not giving this away so easily we're gonna perform the best we can and I am not sure that this is what I saw at Manhattan. Um, I really thought they're going to fight a little bit harder. So myself, I had a very hard time awarding them first place in all dances. Uh, and not simply because they're the champions. They do have a great quality that, that, that should be rewarded. But it did not uh, match the energy that the winning couple was giving that night. Again, uh, energy, speed elaborate choreography seems to be doing better these days than the simplicity of movement uh, which is what their choice seems to be choreographically um, i think it is based on more simple movement that allow them to show the qualities that they both have energy wise between them i don't always enjoy it seems to be a little aloof and cold but at this competition, and I remember watching the dance, and I thought it was much warmer. I saw Nick smiling, I saw her smiling a little bit more, so that was very refreshing to see. Uh, I personally love positive energy from couples, and it would be nice to see that a little bit more often from them. Um, I wish them the best of luck. Um, I, I know how hard this is, and I wish them mental strength, like I said, and just staying on course and, and hitting it hard at every event they're planning on attending. Uh, this is not over yet. Uh, that's what I really want them to know. Okay, well, they are fantastic dancers, um, you know, to have been on top for so long. Let us hope that uh, they can find whatever spark it takes 
to uh, get back to where they were. That only leaves first place, so we are going to find out who won Manhattan Dance Board. I am going to be back with the wonderful Isabella Yunju, and we're going to continue discussing what happened at the Pro Smooth in Manhattan Dance Board 2021.